Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about uploading an image, or ISO, to your Proxmox server. This is a very important step in setting up VMs, but it is also a step that we often skip in our tutorials. This is because it's so simple and easy to do. But today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll have something to reference if you miss out or don't understand this step. The first thing we need to do is access our Proxmox web interface and select the local drive. I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial, you will have set up Proxmox with all defaults. So your screen may be a little bit different than mine as I've added another storage drive and I have a bunch of templates and VMs already set up, but you still should see local. Your local drive is where you store both container templates, backup images, and ISO files. Today, we're going to select the ISO images tab in the right hand element of this screen where my red arrow is pointing. Now that we have moved on and selected the ISO images, we need to click the upload button. The upload button will bring up a separate screen where we're going to click select file. When you click Select File, you're going to get a file explorer of your own. Today, I am using a Mac, so I get this file explorer. Your Windows file explorer may look different, but it will act the same. Select your image that you would like to upload and click Open or Continue, depending on your operating system. That will bring you back to your upload screen. Your upload screen will always have a fake path put in place, but the ending of that path will be your image name. Don't worry too much about that. Just click upload. Your upload process will happen and take a few minutes to a few seconds, depending on your network speeds and hard drive speeds. When your image is uploaded, the screen will disappear and you will see your image displayed on the right hand element of your screen. As you can see, the Debian 10.9.0 64-bit version was the image we uploaded and I have highlighted it so you can see that it was indeed uploaded to our server. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support Virtualize Everything. Have a good night.